Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of JC's Minecraft Life. Uh, as you can see, I am stood in front of the house that we built last episode, but I have been quite busy um, since, uh, since the last episode. So I'm going to very quickly show you around. Uh, the first thing, if I just change my view here, um, is that we have a farm and um, including animals. <laughs> I, I possibly went a little bit overboard with um, decorating the farm, I'm not sure. I just um, was, you know, working and it just sort of happened, but um, I think I like it. I might leave it like that. Um, we've brought the sheep over. Um, we've managed to get a pig from somewhere. I think he's uh, just sort of spawned in or climbed over the fence. Um, one thing I didn't really mention last episode is the fact that we've only got two cows. Um, last episode we, we built the uh, enchanting table and I had been breeding up the cows so that we had plenty of leather. Um, ended up with lots and lots of cows. Um, and then, uh, yes, and then got all the resources, polite way of saying we killed them all. Um, and we've ended up with just these two now, so here you can see Bob and Moo Moo, or Moo Moo and Bob, uh, as named by one of my Twitch um, supporters, Muddy. Um, I believe on YouTube he's called Muddy Man, uh, so a big shout out to him. And uh, yeah, there's Moo Moo and Bob. Say hi to Muddy. There you are, see? <laughs> he said hi. <laughs> okay, so what else? Um, yeah, moved all my stuff. We had um, some help from these llamas here. We've still got Della. We didn't put a chest on Della. We thought uh, she was um, she was our special llama, so she, uh, she she got a rest. She didn't have to do any uh, any leg work. But these llamas were um, instrumental in uh, helping me move my stuff over from the old base. Um, saved me a few trips anyway. Um, I've put some windows in the top. Um, Oh yeah, so all my crafting stuff is over here because there wasn't any space inside really. A um, bit of storage. Um, yeah, and then we built a little lean-to around uh, the outside. I, I, I quite like it. I think it goes quite well with the house. So let's go inside and um, it's a bit modest. You know, we, uh, we are still quite poor uh, at the moment. It's still early game, so, you know, we're not um, expecting anything spectacular just yet. Um, set up a, a smelter for XP um, using kelp. Uh, I won't do that just yet because I've got 33 levels. I'll wait till I need uh, till I need it. Um, but yeah, we've used the barrels as kitchen cabinets because they've got that little um, that metal bit there that looks like a, a handle. Uh, and I might put some carpet in to make it look like a worktop. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, got a bit of a mezzanine which acts as a bedroom so if we come up here let's take a look again quite modest close it and um, yeah put some pictures up because it was looking a bit dull um, got a um, chest I think that's potion stuff yeah that's potion stuff that's temporary um, got quite a nice view out of the windows um, I've set up a little wardrobe here which ought to automatically opens and I've got my chests in here um, things for like uh, diamonds you know things that um, are quite important um, that you know if it was uh, real life I wouldn't have them just outdoors for anybody to come and take um, and that's pretty much it so we've got a lot to do today and um, we need to set up um, an automatic food farm uh, which I'm going to go with the chicken because uh, it's the easiest and um, it's it's one of the, the, the farms that doesn't require any input from yourself except going and actually collecting the uh, the food. Um, I also want to set up a villager breeder because over here is the other side of the island and what I'm thinking is I'm going to have my, my trading area with the villagers over there. But I'm not going to set up the villager breeder here. I'm going to set it up uh, where the old base is because I think it is uh, far enough away that it would uh, count as two separate villages. Um, so I'm thinking doing the chicken cooker first is going to be the best bet. 
and I think I'm going to build it into the side of this this mound here so it's sort of like that and I think that is what I'm going to do I'm going to have a bit of a terraform now and uh, and see how it looks and then we're going to fit it inside there might choose a different place for it but yeah that's what I'm thinking so it's kind of hidden um, but we can still see what's going on okay for goodness sake <laughs> oh, I didn't hit record in time but yeah we've lost another door I just wanted a nice pretty spruce door but yeah that's not gonna happen <laughs> it's just been broke down by a zombie and we've already got an enderman outside so I need to fix that before we get going and uh, I think I need to put my armor back on actually <laughs> oh dear let's try again I don't like that he's just hanging around I have to go and get him. Creep me out. Just go and get him. Let's just go and charge him. I've got me bling. That's what the bling's for. Let's go and get him. I bet he goes. I bet he teleports away now. Mr. Enderman. Oh, he's looking at me. I'm, I'm coming for you. Come on. Uh, I'm looking at you. No, he don't even care, does he? Hey! You! Get off my land! Well, that told him, didn't it? Okay, so um, I've just got back from our old base. Um, I had to go and grab some stuff. As you can see, I have... <laughs> all the eggs that I've collected since we started on this world and I'm going to pop them in here we don't need them just yet but um, we do need them to start a chicken cooker um, I, I need to get rid of that as well I need to put that somewhere uh, had to uh, enlist the help of the llamas again because I didn't have enough uh, oh I'm sat on him um, didn't have enough space in my inventory for all of them and I didn't fancy doing more than one trip it was uh, oops sorry llama <laughs> oh no he's he's not happy with me <laughs> whoops I'm sorry oh dear we might have to kill that one no uh, is he gonna stay mad at me or she okay oh, I'm, I'm sorry I won't do it again okay let's do this quick <laughs> <laughs> before we uh, get in any more trouble with the with the animals <laughs> oh dear sorry llama that's the last of the eggs oh, there's, one. there's llamas everywhere and then in this other chest I've got what I believe um, is everything I need for the cooker um, not this isn't going to be like a tutorial um, but I will be filming um, me building it um, but that's basically everything we need then um, I've got extra observers and some more redstone here um, to make a really really simple um, redstone clock um, but I'll show you that when we get to it so start building um, start off with the chest and a hopper so I'm gonna do a double chest because I plan on putting a lot of um I've already done this wrong haven't I? I have a no, I can do it there. No, I've done it wrong. Cut Okay, chicken cooker, take two. <laughs> I've done it right this time. I forgot we didn't need to bury it in the ground. Get used to burying your chest in the ground. Okay, so chest here, um, hopper there. That's where the chickens that are going to be cooked will be standing. So I'm just going to put a slab on top of there. Um, and I'm going to use bricks for the front for now that may change <coughs> this was risky business wasn't it trying to do this uh, from memory 
um, so that needs to be a block and I believe the block's going to, it might even, not even go that far back but that's where I'm doing it to. to uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all blocks but um, this is Minecraft so if I do it wrong I can always take it out. Okay. Dispensers. Let's put them there for now. Um, dispensers. So you're going to have two dispensers, one on top of the other. To crouch to put that one on there. Okay. Then another hopper goes at the back of this one, and then this is where the chickens that are going to be laying the eggs are going to be living. Which means... Oh, I need another dispenser. Chicken cooker, take three. So the, um, <laughs> the third dispenser that I prepared earlier and had ready this whole time is uh, going to go there. Um, does that have another block on it? Not right now it doesn't. Or ever. So that's going to be a temporary block. Now I need something to stand on. Chicken cook a tick for. Check me out doing redstone. Um, No, it's still wrong. Chicken cooker, take five. Um, <laughs> temporary block. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, honest. Comparator. Um, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of me saying um. Server. Redstone. Observer. Redstone. Is that right? We've we done it this time. When I take this out of here, that's one in there. Oh, I don't know if it actually worked. Oh well that came out of there, so that is gonna shoot the eggs. So chicken stand in there. Sets off the comparator, observer sees it, flashes redstone, that observer sees the redstone, and that observer powers that redstone which powers this, and then because this one's next to this one, that powers that. Uh, so eggs get fired, and um, the oh, lava, I didn't get lava. <laughs> Cut. Blooming redstone. Chicken cooker. So, yeah, do a chicken cooker. Yeah, that'll be really interesting and really, really useful. Yeah, do it on camera. Yeah, try and remember. <laughs> what? What? What do you mean we're recording? Turn it off. Chicken cooker, take six. So chickens in there, that goes to there, that goes to there, there, goes to there, all the way around there, that powers that, that powers that, and because I've been extremely organised, I have my buckets of lava here ready, um, and that's what cooks and kills the chickens. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> okay, so uh, the last thing we need to do is just build up around this, um, and uh, we're going to fill this dispenser with the eggs, um, so I'm just going to get on with that. And um, and then yeah, and then we'll get this thing filled up, and it'll it does take a little while to um, sort of get started um, because you have you do have to wait for the chickens to grow up. So I'm going to leave that side up, and and I'm thinking I probably need yeah, I'm going to need this extra space. So I'm going to dig this out as well.
Okay, so we're ready to do the clock, I think. Let's get rid of that bit there. Um, and there's no point doing the clock if I don't have the eggs in there. So let's get that filled up. I think I'm going to do this twice because I want there to be lots of chickens in there. Um, redstone. So just as I'm doing this, um, just to explain, the, um, the chicken cooker that I'm building today is, um, is from a video by Avamance. Uh, I'll put a link to the video in the description. Uh, I may even have a go at doing my own tutorial for it because uh, uh, even though I probably didn't make it look it, <laughs> but it is quite simple. And then this um, redstone clock, which I'm also messing up, dearie me, um, is um, something I saw on Foxy No Tail and Slack Lizards. Um, uh, well, no, sorry, Foxy No Tail's uh, channel, but it was a co collaboration with Slack Lizard. So, all you've got basically is some redstone leading to two observers, and if you do them facing each other, they do a, a constant redstone pulse. And you can see if I just hop on a block here, there we are, that does the job for you. You could just put a lever on the back of there. Um, and just keep pressing it up and down but this is a lot more fun you get to come and watch <laughs> so let's wait for that to, to finish okay so that ticking has changed that means that the eggs have run out um, so I'm just going to break that bit of redstone We'll leave that going for now. I'm just go get some more eggs. Oh, and light this place up as well, because uh, I want to get more hops. Let's just get some more eggs. Fill that back up. Put that redstone back there. And it goes again. <laughs> and that's uh, changed again, so that's finished. So um, I think two full dispensers worth of eggs is enough. I'm going to leave that dispenser there because otherwise um, all them little chickadees will escape. But um, we're finished with this now, so we'll set this all down um, and that and that and all we've got to do now is wait for them chickens to grow up uh, start laying eggs and they will start um, yeah creating some dinner for us yum 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 so while we're waiting for that um, we best uh, start filling the area around it in I suppose because it's looking a bit horrendous so I'll be back when I've done that Okay, so it's done. So let's go and have a sleep and then we can go and uh, start on the villager breeder. Okay, so we're back at the old base. Um, this is where we're going to set up our villager breeder and I have already picked out a spot for it. Um, what I want is um, 
somewhere very close to the water and I'll tell you why in a second so I'm thinking here um, and we're going to build uh, an enclosure I don't know if it's going to be a house I will be uh, sort of winging it with the build um, might even set it back over there uh, but what I want is it for it to be right next to the water because I use water to transport the villagers um, you can um, make a, um, a little river over the edge of blocks and uh, drive the boat up and down it in fact have I got a boat on me? I haven't, no <laughs> um, let's see if I can find a boat and I'll show you what, uh, what I mean I uh, forgot I actually came here on a boat, so it's best if we use that one. Have I got my water on me? Yes. Right, okay, so quick demonstration. So you can see, let me find a good place to do it. Now you watch me not be able to do it, um, now that I'm showing you. <laughs> um, let's, let's do it here. So there's a couple of blocks there, but you make that little stream going off the edge there. And you have to just, just imagine for a second that, uh, that there's a, a villager in here. Okay, just just use your imagination just, just for a second. Okay, um, it, it's just a demonstration. <laughs> so I like to go in third person because I can see what I'm doing. Um, but instead of using a piston, use the little water stream. And if you go nice and slowly, you can travel up the blocks without um, without any pistons. But you have to do it slowly. It takes a bit of practice and. Um, yeah, it's a lot quicker. The other thing I'll do is, um, because we need to go and get villagers from the village, um, if I've got a lot of land to, to travel over... Oh, hang on, that's not a good spot to show you. Let me uh, find somewhere that's not near the edge. That's it. Okay, so let me get my boat again. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing, honest. But if you put the... Uh, then. If you put the water on the land, oh, I've gotten back again. You put the water on the land, how many times am I going to say that? Uh, <laughs> you can use the boat and oh, hey, look! So I just spam buckets of water down over the land and um, that's, my, that's my villager transportation system. It's a lot cheaper than using rails and minecarts. And um, yeah, that's what I do anyway. So I'm going to start work on uh, preparing the area for the villager breeder and I will see you shortly. So, um, something happened. We're back in the fishing hut. I was using a different account to record my time, time lapse. Left this one logged in. Got distracted by something while I was trying to sort out the other one <laughs> and I died <laughs> I died I can't believe it I can't believe it why you hate me Minecraft <gasps> so we're back to square one um well not really because um we've got lots of stuff but on me I had all my diamond armor oh and uh, the, the thing is it, I died like over here I bet it was that drowned it said that I drowned I reckon something came and pushed me in the water and I bet it was that same drown that got me the first time but anyway I had all my good stuff on me um, and I think I said earlier in the episode that I needed to get rid of that with the skull and put it somewhere safe I don't think I did I need to go and check so that might be gone as well but luckily I had a, some I had a stash of iron swords um, but change of plan it was my little uh, thing where my guy was standing but anyway what I don't have is um, footage of me clearing this area but here it is here's my big area for the uh, uh, villager breeder um, I think we need to do that more than ever now so I can get back on track um, but we're not going to have a time lapse I'm just going to build it and show you it afterwards and instead of the time lapse I'm going to make a nether portal um, to 
an extreme hills area um, because we'll need to go mining again so let's have a look I mean we're probably best going for this one here okay so I'll be back when I've built a little villager breeder okay so here it is it's nothing spectacular really um hang on i need to go back for carrots <laughs> that's fine we'll set up the beds let me go and grab my crafting table and i will show you around okay well we can do it from here um so i've got what i believe is a safe enclosure things can't get in like zombies i don't think just check that bit there oh that's there by accident get rid of that that doesn't look very nice um no no can't get in so the reason it's sort of open like this and i haven't done a like a house type thing or um or what have you um is because i want to be able to get in here with the boat and um and come pick up the villagers then i'll come out here in my boat and go straight on the water and take them over to the village so i'm going to put some beds here got some made up already um i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do enough to get golems spawning um because quite frankly they annoy me <laughs> i think it's um 21 and 10 villagers i think that's what you need for golems to spawn uh, they will end up spawning in me uh, in me trading village, um, but that's fine. We'll we'll do we'll do with that as it happens. Uh, I've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Could probably put them down here as well. Um, and then we've got the farm, um, and we'll have a we'll make a composter so that we've got a farmer, and he'll keep the villagers. Uh, bread so I don't have to keep chucking them food and it can uh, I can just leave them to it then okay right well I'll go and get me carrots and then uh, we'll go off and get some villagers to start um, making babies
Okay, so we've got some uh, visitors trying to get in. Um, but as you can see, the villager breeder is working. We've got babies. Uh, we've unfortunately got a couple of green jackets, but that's fine. Um, they don't all grow up to be green jackets. Um, what I'm going to do is first get rid of them drowned. And um, I'm sure I had some uh, uh, berry bushes somewhere. Let's see if I can set them all on at once with no armour on. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, they were interested in the villagers. Uh, uh, okay, that was uh, easier than I thought. So let me go and get some berry bushes and um, we'll just surround uh, this and then uh, and then we're done with this. There we are. Now any nasties that want to try and get in here will have a harder time. I mean obviously they can come up here but uh, anything lurking around on the outside there is going to get um, some thorns in the bum. <laughs> so okay well that is uh, unfortunately all i have time for for today um i think we'll have to leave linking up nether portals till the next episode but we definitely need to do that we need to get over to uh, extreme hills so we can go to mining um because i need to get all my stuff back again so thank you very 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 much for watching uh if you did enjoy the video please do give it a like um, and if you really, really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. It would really, really help out the channel. Okay, so uh, until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye!